I'll repeat. Sit. Ah, you're back. You met Poppy? You've got to stop talking any day now. That Field Marshal Duda's replacement? The Marshal was a parrot. You do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mage's estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the eternal fire joined forces, staked out his place and rounded the sorry sap up, put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this out. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could they? It weren't possible. Ah, but dandelions what matters now. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. He'd not seen hiding or hair of them in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pick-up lines. Dubious boss. Let's hear him. I'm all ears. Uh, I know how he wooed a last study in natural history. Asked her about the habits of trolls. You know where he went with the cook from the Passiflora? The Oxenford Novigrad Road, which has just now been repaired. He had a stay for hours as laborers crushed boulders into cobblestones. Tried to pass it off as a romantic outing. I don't know a human woman, but that would bore a dwarf and last to tears. He's growing old, that poet of ours. Maybe. Or maybe he did all that for a reason. Sounds like you found something out. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picture of Dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how'd Dandelion handle meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Faculty of Oxenford University is honored to grant Julian Alfred Pankratz, Viscount de Letnov, the title of Master of the Seven Liberal Arts.
Let's drink for his nearly night. Here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon.
Because he murdered some Temerian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is! Permit me to introduce... Uh, this year's Priscilla. Known also as Kalanetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. I brought the pay for his way into Passa Flora once. He made awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone. Dandelion mentioned their name. No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair, and Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan, but what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. 